What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So we have a brand new jailbreak that's been released uh, in the past two days or one day, something like that. Uh, so 4.55, there's now a full jailbreak for firmware version 4.55, not to be confused with the jailbreak we've been using up till now, all the previous videos have been for 4.05. So this is 4.55, it's a newer firmware, and you know, having a jailbreak on a newer firmware is great. Uh, you definitely want to be on the newest firmware possible um, for whatever jailbreaks out, because obviously you have new features, you can run newer games on newer firmware, and um, there's also a higher chance of eventually being able to get online if you're on a newer firmware. Um, but you know that's not really on the cards at this point so yeah and also there's also been a web kit released for I think 5.01 02 05 something like that um, that's not a full jailbreak at least not yet it may turn into a full jailbreak and I will cover that if it does but as of right now uh, that's just a web kit it's an entry point there's not a full jailbreak released for that yet uh, but there is a full jailbreak for 4.55 so in this video I'm going to be updating my 4.05 console to 4.55 and show you how to get the jailbreak um, set up on firmware version 4.55. So if you are on 4.05 and you're wondering should I update uh, to 4.55, uh, just bear in mind that not everything's been ported over from 4.05 to 4.55 yet. However, the homebrew enabler to allow you to play free games and, and PlayStation 2 games Apparently that's been ported over and we'll test that at the end of this video once we have uh, the jailbreak set up and um, Yeah, I, th I think it, there's a COD 4 menu that's been ported over already So things are moving pretty fast. So, you know, it's up to you whether you want to update or not You might want to leave it a week and a week or so until everything's been ported over to 4.55 But yeah, anyway, let's get on with this. Let's get uh, let's get things done. So First thing I'm going to do here is obviously get the firmware installed. So before you start with any jailbreak, make sure you go to settings, uh, check the firmware that you're currently on by going into system and then system information. So you can see I'm on version 4.05. As long as you are below firmware version 4.55, uh, then you'll be able to do uh, you'll be able to get the firmware version installed. If you've updated past 4.55, then unfortunately you'll have to wait for a newer jailbreak. Um, so as long as you're below 4.55, you're good. So another thing you want to do is head into automatic downloads and make sure system software update files is unchecked. Very important because that will prevent software updates from automatically being installed from PSN if you connect to PSN. Um, and another thing you might want to do as well, just to be extra safe, if you go into your network settings and uncheck the connect to internet option, which will 100% prevent you from accidentally downloading the latest firmware from PSN. Alright, so that's everything we have to set up there on the PS4. Let's head over to the PC. So on the PC, all you need to do is get the update file. So we need version 4.55, which is right here and I'll link this in the description, sce.party, you just head to resources, firmwares, it's got them all listed here. You just click 4.55 and download it, as I've already done here. Um, alternatively, you can also go to this link here on PS4 Dev Wiki, 4.55, download is right here, same exact file, except with this one you'll need to rename it to PS4 Update in uppercase. All right, so once you download the, the update file like I have here, what you're gonna to want to do is put that on a USB. So what you want to do is get a USB stick, make sure if you right click and go to properties, make sure it's EX FAT format um, or FAT32. FAT32 will work as well. Just make sure it's not NTFS because it's, if it's NTFS or whatever the iOS format is, I can't remember, um, it will not be detected by the PS4, so it needs to be XFAT or FAT32. So then what you want to do is just go into your USB stick, create a folder called PS4 in uppercase characters, and then in that folder you want to create another folder called update, 
also in uppercase characters. And then in that folder, you want to just drag the update file you downloaded into that folder. And that will copy that over. So make sure, like I said before, that it's called ps4update.pup. So if you downloaded the one from PS4 Dev Wiki, which is called like 4.55 Retail or something like that, rename it to PS4 Update. Okay, so here we go. So now that you've done that, all you want to do is unplug your USB stick and plug it into the PS4. Okay, so once you've plugged it into the PS4, what you want to do is go ahead and scroll over to Settings again. And you want to go down to System Software Update. And there you go. It says the following version of the system software is available 4.55. Make sure it's definitely that version. I hope it does. So system software update 4.55 is available. Next update. Okay guys, this is it. So I have updated to 4.55. Uh, just skip all of this. Okay, so we're on 4.55, should say in the top left, there you go, system software 4.55 update file installed. So there we go, we are definitely on 4.55, let's just make 100% sure, system info 4.55, we are good. Alright, so now let's get uh, the jailbreak set up. So first of all, we need to access the internet browser, we can't because we need to be signed into PSN. To fix that, uh, you can use the user guide. And as you can see, the user guide gives you a web page. Currently can't resolve host, but um, oh, that could, oh yeah, I'm not connected to the, to the internet right now. So what we're gonna do is we're going to select connect to internet. We're gonna set up an internet connection. We're gonna use either Wi-Fi or LAN, whichever you prefer. Um, I hear there's a, an issue with the exploit with, with Wi-Fi. I'm not sure if that's fixed or not yet. Um, Hopefully by the time you're watching this, it will be. So just choose whichever way you're connecting to the to the to the internet. Uh, so then choose custom, not easy. We're gonna do automatic IP. Do not specify host name. Select manual DNS, and there's two uh, DNS servers we want to put in here. So this one here is the same one I use for um, 4.05, but the person who made it is also including. Uh, the 4.55 payloads in it as well. So definitely add this DNS. So 108.61.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
enable web browser for 4.55. So this is going to patch the web browser um, and allow us to use the web browser uh, when we're not signed into PSN. So then I'm going to use Netcat GUI. Now you can use any payload injector um, that allows you to change the port number. So PS, if you have PS4 AIO, you can use that to inject the payload. Just select 4.05, even though you're doing a 4.55 payload, because I assume they use the same port. I hope they do, otherwise I'm going to have to look up what port it uses. So type in your PS4's IP. Oh, it's 86, I am wrong. There we go. Okay, so 137.86. Uh, and then on the PS4, of course, we're going to stay on our WebKit and we are going to select 4.55. See what happens here. Not enough free system memory. Now, I am told that that's quite common. There we go. So now it says you're all set. So all we do now is... What you want to do is get your enable web browser 4.455, make sure it is the 4.55 version, not the 4.05 version, and drag that into your payload path or browse for it. Make sure you change the port number to 9020. So that's all you want. Your PS4's IP, you want your web browser patch payload added as a path in here, and you want 9020 as the port. Then you can inject the payload nothing should happen on the ps4 as you can see everything is is fine so far so the web browser patch is very small it pretty much patches instantly so as soon as you've injected it you can close window back out to the main menu run the internet browser and boom the internet browser now works so at this stage what i recommend doing is going back on the user guide and adding adding this address into uh, your web browser so you can access this page from your web browser in future. So it's manuals.playstation.net forward slash document. Now I'm in the United Kingdom, so it's GB for Great Britain forward slash PS4 forward slash index.html. Yours might be different if you're in a different country. So note down your uh, link that shows up in here. So document GB PS4 index document GB PS4 index. Document GB PS4 index. Just try and remember that. Okay. Yep, that worked. There we go. So then what we can do is we can add that as a bookmark. And now we can access it whenever we want from in here. So every time we want to use the WebKit exploit, we can just head to the internet browser and load it up straight from here. Now, like I said before, this is not great the way he set this up because, you know, the 4.55 payloads are mixed with the 4.05 um, payloads. He, he'll probably fix that um, as if A AI as if what, whatever his name is. I'm definitely butchering that name. Um, but yeah, he'll probably fix that in the future. However, there's another site you can go to, which is less confusing right now, um, which is also made by the same guy in collaboration with lightning mods I think um, and that website if I can get it up on okay I found it so the website we want is uh, da, 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 da. so HTTP so HTTPS or HTTP HTTP so HTTP colon forward slash forward slash uh, PS4 so PS4 exploits dot and then dark software, dark software dot uh, x y z, however you like to pronounce that. And then forward slash index. Well, in fact, you don't even need to do the forward slash index. If you just do forward slash, it should find it anyway. There you go. And then we can go ahead and add this to a bookmark as well. So now we have two sites we can go to. Now the good, the reason this one's obviously easier is because it has the button for what firmware you're on. So if you're on 4.55, you just select 4.55 and then you know that everything in here, all the payloads that are here, and there'll be more added at some point, um, but all the ones in here will be for 4.55. And then if you're on 4.05, then you just select 4.05 and these are all the payloads for 4.05. So it's, it's a bit more organized than the other one. But we have to use the other one initially because you know that's the one where we can put our DNS in, and it'll it'll 
change manuals.playstation.net so we can access it from the user guide at first, which is what we need to do initially um, so that we can install the web browser patch. But once we have the web browser patch installed like we do now, we can start using other sites that are a bit more organized like this. Um, but I'm pretty sure that um, this one will be updated fairly soon with the same thing so that you can select 4.05 or 4.55 and they're not mixed together like this one. Okay, so just to show you that um, that like the homebrew enabler works and stuff on 4.55, we're gonna head back into one of our exploits. We'll go to 4.55. And then hen is the one we want. Now, it's called hen on this version. It's called, um, what's it called on this one? Holy Grail is what it's called on this one. I think they're the same thing. Um, my bad if I'm wrong, but I think they're, they're, they're similar if not the same. So, here we go. You're all set. So when it says you're all set, we can go and close. And go to settings should have the debug settings showing up and go to game package installer and I'm going to install PT which I put I just put that on the USB because it's a fairly small package file I'm not going to install like a like a whole game like dying light which is like 12 gigabytes I just don't have time for that right now don't see why it wouldn't especially if this works then the PS2 emulator game should work on 4.55 as well so let's just have a quick check. PT, it's not locked. Uh, yeah, it's running. So yeah, the homebrew enabler does work on 4.55. Yeah, so there we go. The game is running as you can see. So everything should, so yeah, free games work. PS2 games should work, I think. There might be some tweaks that need to be made to the emulator. I don't think there will be, but I didn't make the emulator, I wasn't involved in anything like that, so I have no idea. So don't take my word for it, but theoretically, the emulator, the PS2 emulation should work. Um, and obviously, the only thing we're really waiting for is like RTE mods, uh, so like an RTE API uh, updated for 4.05, and maybe, I don't think any of the GTA menus have been ported yet, but... I know that one of the COD4 menus was ported, so probably won't be very long, maybe a few days to wait for that as well. Um, so yeah, that's basically it, guys. So anyway, that is how you do it. That's how you fully jailbreak your 4.55 PS4, or how to get a, a PS4 updated to 4.55 and jailbroken. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe, and I will hopefully see you guys in the next one. Thank you.